Hey guys, ZFR Gaming back here again today, and that was just um a uh, cool little intro I threw together um from the battlefield screams from the past couple of days, even the gameplay in the background from the scream. So make sure you go check those out if you haven't already on the channel. Um, but getting to the topic that I want to talk about in this video, the PS4. 4.5 I always get ready to say PS4 4.5 I don't know why I keep almost saying that but yeah the PS4.5 or as it's being called now the the Neo um, is pretty much all I like at this point I feel like it's definitely official um, the specs have been released for it I believe um, and it Sony does plan to release it sometime towards the end of this year We know it's probably going to be around October or before October because that's when they're requiring um, game devs to um, have the to have an alternate PS4 mode for the Neo pretty much what's going to be happening is um, after October every time a game developer um, designs a game for PS4 now they're going to have to make two versions of the PS4 version they're going to have to make um, the normal version for the PS4 then they're going to have to make the Neo version with the upgraded visuals and all that um, good stuff in there and the specs on it really aren't that impressive if I've got to be honest like they're not you not really anything to talk about if I have to um, be honest with you guys like um, so if you're one of the people who are kind of mad about this don't be there's nothing to really be mad about and even if like even if this PS4 was a huge upgrade I would be completely okay with it people would be pissed that Sony is charging um, a whole nother $400 for it but hey like I wouldn't care like I mean like to be honest people are mad about this for like no good reason Sony has been releasing the slim version of the PS4 which is pretty much the exact same thing and raising the price back up on it for the past who knows how many years they did it with the PS3 and they did it with the PS2 where they took the price back up on that thing um, and they just um all they did was make it look different and there was no actual changes in my opinion if people were willing to pay for that and were okay with that this is even better um like and like i said it's not like they're counting you out if you don't have it you're just not going to have as good visuals as the other person like people are freaking out like oh i don't believe i have to go buy another ps4 again like for full price listen you don't have to though that's the thing like this is a necessity this is just for people who want it like this isn't really something you need I think people are really wanting for no good reason over this like uh, and I know some people will say well not everybody has the money and like all that stuff like listen you don't need it that's the thing that's what I'm getting at here like the spec difference on this new PS4 is going to be so small like it's really not anything you have to worry about getting anything you have to stress about getting like you can honestly go about and just stick with your original PS4 like um, this thing's just gonna be a little more powerful that's all but other than that like dude like you this is not a necessity to have um but like yeah am i thinking about getting it i may um they did say sony did say you will be able to trade in your old ps4 towards this one um you know to kind of get a discount in a way now how much of a discount i don't know like i mean if you're going to do a discount i feel like they definitely should at least be doing 200 um 
off. Like, if it's going to be priced at, like, are they taking, how, what's the price on stand? They're taking this back up to 400 Because, like, in my opinion, like, um, they really shouldn't be charging but so much for this thing. Like, considering the normal PS4 is down to 300 I can only imagine they're going to go back up to 400 but um yeah like if i can trade in my old ps4 towards it like i want like at least 200 dollars off of this thing that's all i'm saying i want at least half off um and like I said, th um, that's something else they're throwing in there for you people who might not have all the money. Like, and you, who knows, they might rip people off with that and give you like $100 back or something. That would suck. But, um, and that, and they would be wrong for that. But, um, like, I mean, at the end of the day, this isn't something anyone has to really have. This isn't something that's going to give anyone a advantage over you in the game or anything um it's just gonna make things easier like for me like this would be better for me since i do a lot of live streaming on my ps4 and stuff this is probably going to make all of that a little bit better um the extra power and everything it's just gonna help people like me out a little more but like i said that's just me and people who live stream a lot like if you're like if you're not really in the gaming like that you honestly don't have to worry about it. so yeah and there's not really much to actually talk about when it comes to this thing like it's cool that they're doing this i i like the idea of an upgradable console like i personally don't mind it at whatsoever um I, def I think it's um a cool way, but like eventually like PC gaming is just gonna take over. Like I mean, cause consoles can only go so far before you might as well consider them a PC with a controller. Like they can only like they can only keep making the consoles better, and that's really the reason that um Sony and Microsoft. That's the reason the um PlayStation 4, Xbox One probably aren't um that big of a step ahead of the ps3 and xbox 360 because you have to go slow with this whole process or eventually you're just gonna be making pcs but um yeah like that's all for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave likes and comments down below and tell me what you guys think um and i will see you guys on the next video zfr out guys